As a reminder, there is tracing happening now, but this program that we're talking about launching today is a much more robust, targeted approach that we hope can be highly effective at slowing the spread of this highly infectious disease. And to be successful, it will take a coordinated effort and resources. And it's going to be a big part of our ongoing effort uh, to manage and fight our way through COVID-19. I do want to mention a couple of other efforts before I get to that. We're working with hospitals and public safety officials constantly to prepare for what will be a difficult time over the next three or four weeks. And as we discussed yesterday, our models suggest cases are likely to increase rapidly in the coming weeks, and the strain on our healthcare system will be unprecedented. But we're also focused on the long game for how we can monitor, isolate, and put our communities in a position to mitigate the number of new COVID-19 cases over time, and that's where this tracing initiative comes in. By monitoring and isolating through an enhanced community tracing program, our state can be positioned to reduce the number of cases, new cases, in the long run. Staffed by a team of epidemiologists, the Department of Public Health works directly with every local Board of Health across the Commonwealth already. Case tracing work will be conducted under the Bureau of Infectious Disease and Laboratory Sciences, who will remain the epidemiological experts in all case tracing efforts. This network has experience conducting tracing efforts, but clearly COVID-19 is a whole new frontier and therefore requires a significantly enhanced strategy and platform. Our new community tracing program will stand up a virtual call center that will consist of nearly a thousand virtual contact tracers, many of which have already signed up to help. Staff will contact COVID-19 patients to learn about their recent activities and ensure that they're taking appropriate steps to get healthy and to not spread the virus further. The call center will get contact information for as many people as possible that they have come in contact with and potentially exposed people will be contacted and informed so that they can stay healthy, isolate when appropriate, and prevent further spread as well. As we put this in place, we've started to place volunteers from our non-academic health departments, from our nine academic health departments, to provide direct support to local boards of health to keep pace with escalating case tracing requirements. 170 students have been connected to 35 local health departments to assist with case tracing, public health messaging, and communications to support local health departments. This effort will continue to scale over the next few weeks as we stand up the rest of this project. And here's where I say we are enormously fortunate to have a proven player with a global reputation that is well-deserved and partners in health on board to help with this project. I think many people know that Partners in Health is a global health nonprofit that's based here in Boston, and they have a proven track record of creating successful public health interventions that have made a profound and significant difference during previous epidemics and pandemics around the world. Partners in Health will handle the coordination of the staff by hiring, training, and virtually deploying the contract, contact tracers. Some of the other partners in this project will include Accenture and Salesforce, private sector partners who will be providing logistical and organizational resources to this effort. What we're doing here today is the beginning of a breaking of new ground in the fight against COVID-19. Massachusetts will be the only state in the country putting together this kind of programming there's no nationwide tracking that's currently being done, and we anticipate that we need to get out ahead of this and do everything we possibly can here in Massachusetts to deal with COVID-19 in the aftermath, through and in the aftermath of the surge.